flows in plane are given in three forms Cartesian, parametric, and polar. In today's lecture, we will study tracing of Cartesian curves. While studying Cartesian curves, we will study these properties of the curves. We will find its symmetry if it is passing through origin, and if passing through origin, then what are the tangents at origin? We will find its intercepts, tangents at intercepts, asymptotes parallel to the axis, region of absence, and the variation if the curve is present at infinity. Now, the tracing of curves, this one, the symmetry of the Cartesian curves, these are the conditions here. If all powers of x in the equation are even, curve is symmetrical but y axis. Remember that all word is important. All powers of x must be even. If single power is odd, then symmetry will not hold. Similarly, if all powers of y in the equation are even, symmetry about x axis, by interchanging x and y, equation remains unchanged, then the curve is symmetrical about the line y equal to x. If by replacing x by minus y and y by minus x, equation remains unchanged, symmetry is about y equal to minus x. And if replacing x by minus x and y by minus y, equation remains unchanged. Actually, this is a condition of odd function. Then the curve is symmetrical in opposite quadrants. Now, we have to find if the curve is passing through origin. And that's very easy to find, actually. Uh, the equation f of x, y equals 0 should not contain any constant. Or, in other words, the 0, 0 satisfies the equation. Then the curve passes through origin. To find tangent at origin, we have a very simple method here. Equate the lowest degree term or terms in the equation to 0. For example, the equation y equal to x squared, the lowest degree term is y equal to 0. That is the equation of the tangent. And in the equation x cube plus y cube plus x square minus y square equal to 0, x square minus y square equal to 0, that is y equal to plus minus x, are two tangents to that curve at origin. So it's simple to find tangent at origin. After tangent, after origin, we will study if the curve has any intercepts with the two axes. It's very simple to find x intercept, put y equal to 0, and to find y intercept, put x equal to 0. Now, to find tangent at these intercepts, we can find the slope of the tangent at those points by finding dy by dx there, or shift the origin to the intercept. Remember now that intercept will be the new origin, and we can find the tangent at new origin by equating the lowest degree term to 0. Next property is the asymptotes. Look at these figures here. As x tends to a, this y tends to infinity, and here as y tends to b, x tends to infinity. These two lines are asymptotes parallel to the axis. This is parallel to x axis and this is parallel to y axis. They are also defined as tangents at infinity. Now, to find these asymptotes parallel to x axis, equate the coefficient of highest power of x to 0. And to find the asymptotes parallel to y axis, equate the coefficients of highest powers of y to 0. Now, we will find the region of absence. Uh, we have to find key in which part of x or y axis this curve is absent. If the symmetry is about x axis, Express the equation in the form y square equal to fx and find the range of x where y square is less than 0, that is y is imaginary. If the curve is symmetrical about y axis, express in the form x square equal to fy and find the range of y where x is imaginary, that is x square is less than 0. And finally, if the curve is present at infinity, you find the variation of the curve as x tends to infinity. We have to find how y varies as x tends to infinity or how y, how x varies as y tends to infinity. It happens many times that even after finding all the properties, you are not able to visualize the curve. So, this table may help you. You can easily find at any point, that point may be origin or intercept. If symmetry is about x axis and tangents are parallel to x axis, the shape of the curve at that point will be like this. It's called cusp. If symmetry is about x-axis and tangents are parallel to y-axis, then it will be parabolic at that point. 
if sin it is about y axis and tangents are parallel to x axis, it's a parabolic here again, upwards or downwards. And if symmetry is about y axis and tangents are parallel to y axis, then the shape of the curve at that point will be a cusp again, upwards or downwards, depending upon the region of absence. With these uh, discussions now, we can start solving examples which will help you to understand these concepts. This is the first curve a y square is equal to x square into a minus x. Here a will be always a positive constant. This is symmetry about x axis as powers of y are even. This curve is passing through region as there is no constant term present and lowest degree terms are y square equal to x square. Rather a y square equal to a x square cancelling a we get y square equal to x square. So the two lines y equal plus minus x are tangents at origin. To find intercept, if you put x equal to 0, we get y equal to 0, so origin is the only y intercept. And putting y equal to 0, we get x equal to 0 and x equal to a. So the curve cuts x axis at a0 again besides the origin. To find the tangent at a0, we will shift the origin to a0. So x equal to x plus a and y equal to y by shift of origin formula. Putting these values in the given equation, we are getting this new equation. a y square is equal to x plus a square into minus x. The lowest degree term in this equation is minus a square x equal to 0, that is x equal to 0. Means y axis is tangent at origin, that is new origin. With reference to the old system, at a0, the line x equal to a is the tangent. Now to find the asymptotes. Highest power of y is uh, y square and coefficient is a and a equal to 0, we don't get any straight line, which is parallel to axis, so there is no asymptote. Similarly, the coefficient of x, highest power of x will be uh, x cube and coefficient is minus 1, equating to 0, we don't get any straight line, so this curve has no asymptote. It's very easy to find the region of absence in this example, y square equal to x square into a minus x upon a x square and a are always positive, so sine of y square will depend upon a minus x. And a minus x is negative if x is greater than a. So, for x greater than a, y square less than 0. So, in that part of x axis, curve is absent. And as x tends to minus infinity, y also goes to infinity. So, this curve is as shown here. This is the graph of the curve. This is a0 and this is the tangent at a0. These two lines, y equal to x and y equal to minus x, are tangents at origin. And this goes to infinity. In the second example, y square into x minus a equal to x square into 2a minus x. This is again symmetric about x axis. This is passing through origin as there is no constant term. But this is very important here. If you try to find a tangent at origin, you are getting y square is equal to minus 2x square. So, there is no real tangent at origin and when this happens, that point, origin, will be an isolated point. Means curve is absent in that part, but that point only satisfies the equation. To find intercepts, put x equal 0, we get y equal 0. Origin is the only y intercept. Putting y equal 0, we are getting additional point x equal to 2a. And shifting the origin to 2a 0, this is the equation new equation of the curve which is passing through origin and equating lowest degree term equal to 0 we are getting x equal to 2a as the tangent to find asymptotes here the highest power of y is y square and the coefficient is x minus a so x minus a equal to 0 gives x equal to a as an asymptote parallel to y axis and equating coefficient of highest power of x minus 1 to 0 we don't get any asymptote so that is the only asymptote here x equal to a to find region of absence now, y square is x square into 2a minus x upon x minus a. I have found the table here. Uh, actually, it is important to know here that at what points the sign of y square may change. x square will never change the sign. 2a minus x will change sign at x equal to 2a and x minus a will change the sign at x equal to a. Of course, any function changes its sign where it becomes 0. Now these two points a and 2a are dividing x axis into three parts x less than a, x between a and 2a and x greater than 2a and in this range these are the signs of the two terms and depending upon that these are the signs of y square. So this curve is present between a and 2a only.
in other part of x axis this curve is absent uh, using these properties now we can draw the curve and the curve is like this this is 2a0 tangent at 2a0 is parallel to y axis and x equal to a is an asymptote and this origin is an isolated point next curve y square is equal to x minus a x minus b x minus c where a less than b less than c symmetry about x axis which is not passing to origin as if we expand the brackets there will be a constant term present putting x equal to 0 we don't get any uh, uh, any real y we are getting y square is minus abc so this curve is not cutting y axis and putting y equal to 0 we are getting x equal to abc so this curve cuts x axis at 3 points now instead of shifting origin 3 times it's better to find a derivative at these points this is dy by dx and dy by dx at a0, b0 and c0 is infinity. That means at these points tangents are parallel to y axis. There is no asymptote to the curve. And from this table we can understand this curve is present between a and b and x greater than c. Uh, and as x tends to infinity here, y tends to infinity. So using this, you can draw the curve here between A and B. This curve is this shape, and at C, this is tangent, so it's parabolic here. In next example, this is the case of where B equal to C, so x minus A into x minus B square. Again, symmetry about x axis not passing through origin. You will have two x intercept A zero and B zero, and no y intercept. And finally, we saw this last example here y into x square minus 1 is equal to x square plus 1. Here, symmetry is about y axis as the powers of x are even. Constant term is present, so not passing through origin. Putting x equal to 0, we are getting y is minus 1. So, curve is cutting y x at 0 minus 1. y equal to 0 gives x square is minus 1, so it is not cutting x axis. No real x intercept. Shifting origin to 0 minus 1, we are getting this equation here. And equating lowest degree term, we are getting y equal to 0, that is, x axis is the tangent at 0 minus 1. To find asymptotes, highest power of y is y only, coefficient is x square minus 1, equating to 0, we get x equal to plus minus 1 as the asymptotes. To find asymptotes parallel to x axis, combine the coefficients of x square, and the coefficient is y minus 1 equal to 0, so y equal to 1 is also an asymptote. So this curve has three asymptotes x equal to plus minus one and y is equal to one y is equal to one. To find region of absence here express x square as a function of y. The sign of x square will change at one or minus one and you can easily find between minus one and one x square will be negative so curve is absent in that part. And this is the curve finally here this is x axis y axis at 0 minus 1 this line parallel to x axis is tangent and these two lines are asymptotes so tends to infinity now here these two lines are tangents and so this is the shape of the curve as x tends to 1 y tends to infinity and as y tends to 1 x tends to infinity similarly using symmetry the curve is present here